Good afternoon, Valen family. Let us take a moment to enter into a peaceful and quiet frame of mind to prepare for today's exam. Let us set aside all of the thoughts, worries, and responsibilities and allow the presence of the Holy Spirit to be felt in your space. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Gospel today, Jesus returns to his hometown of Nazareth and was surrounded by the people who watched him grow up, that thought that they knew him best. But then Jesus reveals the truth about himself, who he is, who sent him, and why he was sent. This took incredible self-assurance on the part of Jesus. Let us look inward. Would I have the self-assurance to stand before the people who think they know me best and reveal the truth about who I am, the kind of person I am, and why I am here? If so, what would I say to them? If not, take a moment to pray for the grace of self-assurance. Jesus tells his friends and neighbors that he has been sent to serve others and not his own self-interest. He has come to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free. The poor, the captives, the blind, the oppressed, they are all still here in our world today. These are the people who live at the margins. Let us look inward again. How much thought do I give to the well-being of those who live at the margins? In my efforts to serve others, have any of those efforts been for those at the margins? If so, recall a particular grace you have received from those efforts. If not, take a moment to pray and make a resolution to include those at the margins in your service efforts this school year. The gospel passage concludes with the people who thought they knew Jesus best rejecting the truth he professed about himself. Their rejection is so pronounced that they intend on throwing him off a cliff. Throughout this scene, Jesus never retracts anything he has revealed. He doesn't offer any further explanations. The truth is the truth, and he allowed his friends and neighbors to freely choose how they would react to it. Let us again look inward. How receptive am I to the truth? Do I even believe in the truth? Can I truly say that my ears, my mind, and my heart are truly open? Perhaps that openness will call me to change, or to healing, or to reconciliation. Let us pray for the grace of openness, and for the other graces needed to respond to that openness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lady of Belen, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Have a great rest of the day.